Hey guys, Nick Espinosa, your Chief Security Fanatic here, and we're going to start off today with a pop quiz. What do these organizations have in common? The first one is Al-Shabaab, then the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, Al-Quds Brigades, the Kurdistan Workers' Party, Al-Asqa Martyrs Brigade, Hamas, and the Taliban. Now, if you had said that they are part of the U.S. State Department's list of foreign terrorist organizations, you would be correct. If you also mentioned that they were part of the U.S. Treasury Department's Office of Foreign Asset Controls and it is illegal for a U.S. corporation to supply them with material support, uh, which is weapons, medicine, communication equipment, whatever that is, you would also be correct. But the third one on the list is Cloudflare. Now, Cloudflare is one of the largest content delivery networks, or CDNs, in the world. They account for roughly 10% of all traffic that goes on in uh, the globe. They have more traffic going to them than organizations like Apple, for example. They have millions of customers, and so they are not hosting the actual domains for the customers, but they are able to deliver content and also defend websites, and that is exactly what Cloudflare is doing for those seven organizations. Now, here's the problem. Because they are running afoul of the material support uh, clause for the Treasury Department, they technically are breaking U.S. law. Now, Cloudflare disagrees with this, and Cloudflare has actually known about these organizations hosting with them since at least 2012, according to a Reuters report. Now, Cloudflare recently came out and said, and I quote, we try to be neutral and not insert ourselves too much as the arbiter of what's allowed to be online, said Cloudflare's general counsel, counsel Doug Kramer. However, he added, we are very aware of our obligation under sanction laws. We think about this hard, and we've got a policy in place to stay in compliance with those laws. <laughs> so basically what Cloudflare is saying is, you know, this is a free speech issue. We are not going to dictate who is and is not a terrorist. We are not, and they, they had an earlier quote saying, we are not supplying them with things like bullets and flak jackets and weapons and all of that. We simply offer the services we offer. So you tell me, what do you think about this? Good, bad, ugly? Are they breaking U.S. law? You tell me. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And as always, stay safe and stay online. Thanks, guys.